If you've watched the Netflix miniseries Wormwood, you'll remember the story of Frank Olson. He fell to his death in 1953 from a New York hotel. Suicide was blamed, but turns out Olson was covertly dosed with LSD by a colleague. Both men worked for the Central Intelligence Agency, as crazy as that sounds. Here are another 15 things you didn't know about the CIA. Number 1. The CIA reads more than 5 million tweets per day. Hey Luxers, it's not just Facebook stalking you. TechSpot calls them vengeful librarians, which is an unusual description for a CIA agent, but this specific department of the CIA reads your tweets all day long. And honestly, they don't care about your thoughts on Glenn Close not winning an Oscar or what you did for your mom on Mother's Day on Sunday. They're trying to gauge people's reactions to world events, and you can bet it's not just Twitter they're scrolling all day long. By keeping tabs on what's being posted, it gives the CIA a good idea of what's happening IRL. But what we'll share next is something that is certainly not real, as you'll see with these mistaken identities. Number 2. The Starbucks located at CIA headquarters may not use names for orders. Aaron will not become Air In. Reese won't be called Breeze or Lisa won't be spelled as Lisa. Because if it's a grande being ordered at Starbucks at CIA headquarters, you'll not know who it belongs to. The CIA Starbucks in Virginia even has a special name, Store Number One. According to the Washington Post, the top sellers at Store Number One are the lemon pound cake and vanilla lattes during the day, and frappuccinos and double espressos at night. Store number one is one of the busiest in Virginia, and employees may not write down CIA staff names on cups for obvious reasons. Number three, the CIA have new cloud contracting enterprises. CIA agents might not be willing to divulge their information to Starbucks, but they'll be indulging all of their information to a multi-billion dollar cloud contract. At the end of 2020, the CIA awarded its long-awaited commercial cloud enterprise, or C2E contract, to five companies, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft, Google, Oracle, and IBM, according to nextgov.com. The CIA has used Amazon Web Services to supply their cloud computing needs since 2013, and this shift will mean they have multi-cloud posture, using the best cloud provider for specific areas of work. The contract is speculated to be worth tens of billions of dollars over the next decade. And Aluxers, be sure to stay up to speed by subscribing to our channel. We keep you briefed on all of the happenings from CIA upgrading cloud contracts to which countries have the highest taxes. Look out for that one later this week. Number 4. The CIA Once Tried to Weaponize Lightning Perhaps an agent was inspired by Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody, but thunderbolts of lightning turned out to be a little too frightening for the team in 1967. The idea was brought forward by a scientist whose name has since been redacted in the declassified document from the CIA's archive, according to Forbes. The scientist proposed that the CIA harness the lightning and then use it to destroy a certain area without any evidence of what caused the lightning storm. Hey Luxers, this is the most basic explanation and it may seem nuts now, but during that time, controlling the weather was quite a popular concept, and while the idea was appealing to the CIA, it never did strike home. Number 5. Former CIA Director Speaks About the Good and the Bad Former CIA Director John Brennan released his memoir in 2020 called Undaunted. In the book, he writes about the things he regrets and the things he's proud of. He narrates the book himself on Audible. We recommend you give it a listen using our free download. Go to alux.com slash freebook. Of his regrets, he goes back to September 11th. At that time, he was the deputy executive director of the CIA. After the attack, the CIA ran a rendition and interrogation program for suspected terrorists. Basically, Aluxers, the interrogation included torture methods, and Brennan said one of his biggest regrets was not trying to reduce the severity of some of those enhanced interrogation techniques, as quoted in an interview with NPR's Mary Louise Kelly. Number 6. Gina Haspel, the first woman CIA director. 
On the last day of Trump's presidency, Gina Haspel handed in her resignation. As reported by Forbes, according to Axios, Trump spent his last year in office ruminating over Haspel and reportedly weighed firing her on multiple occasions for a perceived lack of loyalty. Haspel had been with the intelligence agency for 36 years and held the post of director for almost three years. As tweeted by the CIA, the CIA workforce thanks director Haspel for her 36 years of dedicated service to the American people. You've broken barriers and empowered the next generation of CIA officers. There were reports and allegations that Haspel was involved in the CIA's torture program and oversaw a CIA black site prison in Thailand. Number 7. How woke are the CIA really? Unless you've been living under a rock, Aluxers, you've no doubt seen the woke recruitment ad. The torture controversy has nothing on the reaction that the new woke CIA is causing. The video that has caused the uproar is titled Humans of CIA and highlights a Latina intelligence officer who says, I'm a cisgender millennial who has been diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. This video has both the left and right infuriated, albeit for different reasons. Mark Polymeropoulos, a former senior officer, added that the CIA were not trying to be woke, but rather aiming at pushing diversity efforts, according to TheGuardian.com. Number 8. Did the CIA invent Bitcoin? Hey Luxers, this question has been asked a few times on Quora and the replies are intriguing. While most people argue that it wasn't the CIA who invented Bitcoin, they do lean toward the NSA or National Security Agency being behind it. As reported by CNN.com, both the NSA and Bitcoin share a secure hashing algorithm, SHA-256. Satoshi Nakamoto allegedly means central intelligence. Cryptocurrency would benefit the deep state. Bitcoin could help the FBI catch criminals. And when you hear our next story, you might agree it's not the CIA that started Bitcoin. Number 9. Former CIA director believes Bitcoin is too transparent for criminals. Many people believe that crypto is a breeding ground for criminals, but former acting CIA director Michael Morrell claims that criminals would not be able to use the Bitcoin network as the transactions are too transparent. According to an article by David B. Black, a Forbes contributor, the Crypto Council for Innovation paid Morrell to make these claims so that companies dealing with crypto are not deemed part of any criminal dealings. Hey Luxers, you know our thoughts on crypto and Bitcoin, and if done with knowledge and through the correct channels can be highly profitable, which is why we've created Bitcoin Essentials. In our opinion, it's the best blockchain and Bitcoin resource if you want to get started with crypto. Go to alux.com slash Bitcoin and enroll now. Number 10. How much does a highly placed spy cost? A career as a spy sounds rather glam, especially if you compare it to the spies you see in the movies. They're the ones with the briefcase stuffed to cash, passports, and sleek gadgets. They're living it up in five-star hotels, dining, gambling, and making out with their choice of the hottest men and women. But in reality, a spy is not nearly as glamorous and doesn't earn nearly as much. According to Asia Times, there are only five known instances of Americans being paid about $1 million to spy on their country over careers that in each case spanned two decades. Some notable spies include Aldrich Ames. He was the son of a CIA analyst and joined the CIA as a low-level document analyst. He volunteered to spy against the U.S. to KGB agents and got paid $50,000. After that, he went to Rome, and between 1986 and 1989, he was paid roughly $1.8 million to pass information on to Soviet agents. Earl Pitts spied on the USA through the FBI for the Soviet Union and Russia and got paid $65,000 in 1995. Robert Hansen got $50,000 for handing over documents to the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service. Rather save face, eh, Luxers, and ditch the career of spying. Number 11. Facebook being secretly run by the CIA When we're not given all the information about anything, it's easy to speculate and make up theories about it. And this is exactly what The Onion did. 
The Onion is an American satirical digital media company and newspaper organization. The Onion reported that Facebook is a massive online surveillance initiative run by the CIA with Mark Zuckerberg as the lead agent of the program. And in true Onion style, it was believed by many people. What did ring true with their report was how easily we divulge all of our information on social media and how what we share is a dream come true for the CIA. Number 12. The CIA adds a new category to its World Factbook. On the CIA's website, they've got their World Factbook, where they provide basic intelligence on many categories, including history, people, government, economy, energy, geography, environment, communications, transportation, military, terrorism, and transnational issues for 266 world entities. They recently included a new category, environment. Some interesting facts they've added are more than 20% of the Solomon Islands' GDP comes from forestry revenues. Liechtenstein recycles nearly 65% of its municipal solid waste. And more than 80% of Comoros' land area is used for agriculture. It's definitely worth a follow. Number 13. The CIA is a great place to find love. And we don't mean digitally. A bonus about finding love at the CIA is you know the other person has had extensive background checks and they've got nothing to hide. The CIA has published a Love at Langley series on Instagram showcasing three couples from the CIA. Two couples met at the agency while one couple met just before. The series is part of the Humans of CIA series that we mentioned earlier. Number 14. The CIA built a catfish robot spy and named him Charlie. And he probably didn't get paid either. It was during the 90s and the CIA wanted to create an uncrewed underwater vehicle to study the feasibility of unmanned underwater vehicles and other aquatic robot technologies for the purpose of collecting intelligence, according to popularmechanics.com. To ensure nobody spotted their underwater vehicle, they designed it to look like a catfish and Charlie was born. Now, whether Charlie was successful in his endeavors is unbeknownst to us. Number 15. The CIA released an entire collection of UFO-related documents. Aluxers, if you're keen to pursue all of the information the CIA has on anything UFO-related, you now can. Over 30 years of information of UFO records have been made available for you to download. Amongst the hordes of information, you'll find 2,700 pages of UFO-related documents. But we won't spoil your fun. Go download them at the Black Vault. So, Aluxers, what can you add to our list of things that you didn't know about the CIA? We always love your input. And you stuck with us until the end, so of course, you're getting a bonus. Did you know the CIA's first plot against Castro wasn't aimed at Fidel? In 1960, the CIA initially went after Raul Castro. The CIA offered $10,000 to Jose Raul Martinez, the pilot taking Raul Castro to Prague, to have a little accident. But we know that Raul and Fidel lived a long life thereafter, despite some bizarre assassination attempts, including an exploding cigar, hidden explosives inside a large seashell, and a contaminated diving suit. Thanks for watching, Aluxers. Remember to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up.